the liftoff of 41C. T minus 35 seconds. seconds. The Gox van arm fully, fully retracted, retracted, and we're switching command to the onboard computers. The SRB hydraulic power units have started. T minus 20 seconds. T minus 17, 16, 15, 13, 12, 11, 10. We are go for main engine start. Eight, seven, six. We have main engine start. Three, two, one. Solid motor ignition and liftoff. Liftoff of Challenger in the first flight to repair a satellite in space. We have cleared the tower. Houston controlling now. Roll program initiated. Good roll. Puts the Challenger in the proper attitude for its flight downrange. Standing by the throttle down for max Q. as Challenger goes through its period of uh, maximum dynamic pressure. Velocity 2,000 feet per second, altitude 3.8 nautical miles, 2 miles downrange. Tension still at 67%, uh, standing by the throttle back up uh, as Challenger passes through the speed of sound. Velocity. Houston, go at throttle up. All throttles back up to 104% of a rated thrust. Altitude uh, 10.5 nautical miles, velocity 3,200 feet per second, distance downrange 7 nautical miles. Uh, engine performance continues nominal. APU speeds, uh, temperatures, and pressures all look good. Velocity 4,000 feet per second. Altitude 15, 16 nautical miles, distance downrange 11 nautical miles. Standing by for a chamber pressure call, which will be the precursor of solid motor separation. Roger. Roger, separation, looks good. Uh, nominal separation of the solid rocket motors. Uh, guidance has converged as planned. And main engine performance still looks good. Uh, first page, first stage performance uh, called out as being... Challenger Houston, first stage performance, low. Roger, low first stage. Uh, that call uh, indicating to the crew that subsequent calls may be a little bit later than initially programmed. Uh, main engine performance uh, still nominal. Pressures, temperatures uh, are uh, well within nominal constraints. Challenger Houston, two engine TAL capability. Uh, that call advising the crew that if one main engine should fail, the uh, Challenger can still make its uh, transatlantic abort site to uh, Dakar, Dakar Airport at uh, Senegal on the west coast of Africa. Engine performance uh, is still flawless. APU pressures, uh, temperatures, and speeds are uh, right on the mark. Challenger on course and on time. Flight Director Gary Cohen getting a status report from all positions in the mission control room. All console positions report go. Challenger on course and on time. Velocity 7,000 feet per second. Altitude 54 nautical miles. Distance downrange 88, 90 nautical miles. Mission elapsed time, 3 minutes 50 seconds. Engine performance, APU performance, fuel cell performance all look very good. Velocity 8,000 feet per second. Challenger Houston. Negative return. Roger, negative return. Uh, that call indicating Challenger will continue to fly forward. Uh, looking for a Preston Miko call and uh, 
press to main engine cutoff, and uh, I call due in uh, 10, 15 seconds. Engine performance uh, still looks uh, completely nominal. Altitude, uh, 61 nautical miles. Distance downrange, 140. Velocity, 9,000 feet per second. And the uh, press to Miko call due momentarily. Vehicle performance still flawless. Challenger Houston, press to Miko. Roger, press. Velocity 10,000 feet per second, altitude 63 nautical miles, distance downrange 185 nautical miles. Mission elapsed time five minutes. Three and a half minutes remaining of uh, main engine time on this uh, ascent. Velocity 11,000 feet per second, altitude 64 miles, distance downrange 222 miles. All console positions in the mission control room very quiet, uh, no anomaly calls uh, by any of the positions. Velocity 12,300 feet per second, altitude 64 nautical miles, distance downrange 260. Five minutes, 50 seconds, mission elapsed time. Engine performance uh, continues to look good. And uh, Challenger Houston, single engine tow capability. Uh, that call advising the crew that if uh, two main engines fail, that Challenger can still make uh, Dakar on one remaining good main engine. APU performance uh, still is uh, nominal, uh, providing uh, hydraulic pressure to uh, the main engines and the aerodynamic surfaces. Fuel cell performance is nominal. All engines running smoothly, 104% of rated thrust. Six minutes, 40 seconds, mission elapsed time, velocity 16,000 feet per second, altitude 61.6 .6 nautical miles. Distance downrange 390. Challenger on course and on time. Challenger Houston single engine press to Miko. Roger single engine press. Thank you. That call from Capcom John Blaha advising the crew that if uh, we have two engine failure that uh, Challenger can make a orbit on one remaining uh, main engine. Ascent profile continues to be uh, right along the program path at uh, 7 minutes uh, 30 seconds, about one minute remaining in, uh, of main engine performance. Uh, velocity 20,000 feet per second, uh, altitude 58 nautical miles as Challenger uh, dives to uh, gain velocity. Uh, 566 nautical miles downrange. Mission elapsed time 8 minutes, uh, just 38 seconds remaining of main engine time as uh, engine performance continues to look good. Velocity 23,000 feet per second. APU performance nominal, distance downrange 656 nautical miles, altitude 58 nautical miles. Main engine cut off at uh, 8.30, just momentarily now. Okay, we have Miko at about 2650, and I'm up at about 500. Roger that, sounds great, Crip. Uh, Miko, right on time. Standing by now to uh, get off the external tank. Separation. Roger, separation. Mission Commander Bob Crippen uh, confirming uh, external tank uh, separation nominal. Flight Director Gary Cohen getting a go, no go status from the control team for uh, shutdown of APUs, and uh, I'll report go. 
Challenger Houston, ohms one is not required. APU shut down on time. Roger, understand. Ohms one not required, APU shut down on time. That uh, call from Capcom John Blaha confirming that uh, we have direct insertion orbit, uh, first of a kind orbit for Challenger or uh, any space shuttle orbiter, and uh, precludes the need for Ohms 1 burn. Uh, APU shutdown, uh, as reported, uh, will be on time and nominal. 